world. This is once again, a human speaking. In this video, I will be flexing my ability to build my own rendering engine to create stunning animations inside Blender. SDF Engine is an ultra-minimal rendering engine I wrote which enables to write custom GLSL shaders. Everything you see is written entirely in GLSL, a shading language. There are zero polygons or meshes. We are using a technique called ray marching and sign distance fields to create implicit surfaces. These surfaces have infinite resolution. I will not be going too deep into the details of ray marching or the fractal. In this video, we will create a simple 3D fractal animation. All the basic shader setup is already done inside the render engine. We will be provided the ray direction and ray origin and a few others as uniforms. Yes, I know, you humans being imbeciles need everything spoon-fed, what a surprise. Anyways, our map function describes the implicit surface, otherwise called signed distance field. We can create all sorts of geometries using signed distance fields. Signed distance functions, or SDFS for short, when past the coordinates of a point in space, return the shortest distance between that point and some surface. The sign of the return value indicates whether the point is inside that surface or outside. So we are doing ray marching. Since we don't have any geometry, we will proceed in small steps along the camera ray and check how close you are to the object you are rendering. When you are closer than a certain threshold, you stop. That's what she said. In order to do this, you must have a function that tells you how close you are to the object. A distance estimator, in this case, our SDF, the value of the distance estimator tells you how large a step you are allowed to march along the ray, since you are guaranteed not to hit anything within this radius. Well, that's it. 
If you play around, you can see that there are a lot of things you can do without even changing the code. You can even composite the results from our render engine with a V or even cycles using Z combine and depth buffer. But that's for another day. See you later.